Hello traders, welcome back to the Forex Ball trade setups. In today's video, we will be looking at the dollar versus Japanese yen and we will analyze the currency pair and try to set up the trade for this pair. And guys, hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button and of course, turn on your notifications not to miss any of the future videos that will be coming up on the weekly basis. Let's get started. On the Japanese yen versus dollar, what we see is clearly a downtrend. Price is producing lower lows and lower highs. Trend is always the friend and it's always safer to go with it. For this reason, we will look at the opportunity to the downside because of the two factors. First is lower lows and lower highs and second is the price is moving lower and rejecting the moving averages. Here, for example, you can see there was a clean rejection and here was a rejection with the spike. So I like this sort of clean rejections because they tend to give some clues about further price direction. So I will use this level to apply it here. Now we are interested in how far price corrected down. So using simple Fibonacci retracement level could be always a good idea. So let's apply it to this correction to the upside. Now what we see is interesting is this level has been rejected cleanly, which we marked already. 50% FIBS at 105.05, psychological level as well, strong resistance. And of course I would apply Fibonacci to this rejection where price bounced off the moving average and the Fibonacci level. Let's do that. Also another thing I forgot to mention, here we have first FIBS. We can see price rejected the resistance, rejected again. and very similar scenario we can see right there because there was a rejection of this resistance formed here which is a support at this point if I just extend it you will be able to see so here rejection here rejection and the spike for this reason I'm gonna apply another FIBS to this correction as well you can see that currently I have two Fibonacci levels applied but let's not stop on that because the more you have information, the better. So I always use multiple Fibonacci retracement levels and I always have a lot of the levels, particularly I have 127.2 and then 203, 4, 5 and so on. Same for the 161.8, 203, 4, 5 and so on. So this gives me a clue as to where the most FIBs are lying and this could be the strong support. Now I have applied FIBS to this overall wave to the upside and we could do even one more. So for that I'm going to use the trend line to see where was the trend line rejected. You can see here was this rejection and I'm going to use another FIBS just to apply to this sort of move. What we see guys is a very very strong support at this price area and I think we don't need this one and we only need two FIBS this and this. So let's keep them. This is the level that I would expect price to test. So this is a very strong support, although it could be traveling lower to potentially test the next FIBS 261.8. So this is uh, one of the target levels. Now we need to calculate what should be our risk to reward ratio and actually where to uh, place the stop loss. For this, let's move to one hour chart we need to see where would traders start selling in case this is in fact a downtrend. Well, we see that both moving average were broken at this level here and price corrected up, retesting it. So my ideal price would be at this level. So here after this correction, of course, this is not an ideal and um, it's up to you whether you want to take the certain risk reward or not. But from what we understand now is that this is the key level. If it gets broken, most likely the price will go higher. So it would be ideal to place the stop loss just above this level. In order to understand what should be our downside target, let's just bring it down to this support level. Now we have 1.61 risk to reward ratio. Whether it's a good or not, I don't know. But um, if we extend it further, it would be almost 1 to 9. And in this case, there could be two trades, one towards this support and one towards this support. Well, it's difficult to predict how far it will go unless you see some rejection. 
and it will be important of course to see the rejection either of this support and then exit the trade or if it will get broken exit at the second support now for example if we take the nearest level okay we have 1.63 risk to reward ratio currently the price is not at the spot that we ideally would want to enter the trade it's always up to you whether you want to take it or not right now because if we do it like that our risk reward will be 1.16 and this is not the ideal trade setup although we can we can have it as an example best to stick of course to the risk reward which is two where you're risking one part to gain two parts and for example here one to one is not ideal and if we extend it like that 1.41 still not good enough we would need this support to be tested but we see that the key support could be at this level and for this reason you could either wait until this correction to get a better risk to reward ratio or enter it at this point it depends whether you have a uh, multiple confirmations and how many of them and whether your trade setup corresponds to other us dollar related pair or other japanese related currency pairs there is a lot of um, things actually but let's do it simple simple trend line we have a breakout of the trend line and uh, this is another confirmation we have a breakout of the moving averages we had the rejection of the fibs with the spike above and there are quite a few of confirmations which brings me to conclusion that the probability of this setup is pretty high and i can take this trade and for example exit if i see the break to the upside above the moving average exit the trade so this is also something that can be done and of course always calculate whether the risk to reward ratio is suitable and it should never be lower than one so in our case i would expect this move to the downside ideal point would be higher but since we're making this live i will just place it at the point where the price is right now all in all expected move it's about 100 pips from the current price and the risk is 90 pips from the current price so this is their setup i would want to see working out whether it's going to be fast or slow trend it's hard to say but always watch the time frame you're doing the analysis for example four hour time frame for me is the most comfortable one because i have time to look at the charts i can do it a few times during the day only or three four times is enough basically when you wake up you look at the chart during the day you look at the chart in the evening you look at the chart and so on so three times per day it should be enough on the four time frame if you go with the low time frame for example one hour i think uh, there will be a lot of missed opportunities and a lot of false signals maybe as well so that's uh, what i think will be happening and we will get back to this analysis this trade setup once we have some price action Okay, so we're back to the dollar Japanese yen just a few days after. And as you can see, price went quite sharply to the downside. The target has been tested and we can see that there wasn't even any sort of pullback and price tested the first support and actually went towards the second. So rejection of the 261.8 FIPS resulted in this massive upside move. So all in all, in profit and this is exactly what we had on our premium channel signals where we're sending this analysis and of course the trade setups which you can see right there so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it smash the like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow all upcoming trade setups that are coming on the weekly basis